Yo, you're tuned in to undergroundradar.com. It's your boy Jazz Wanna Supply. I've got the beautiful, talented, ferocious Nefertiti FMC. Yes, what's up, man? Good, good. It's nice to see you again. Hey, man. You know? Always. Today, we do here on Meet the Artist mm -hmm. to talk about you, of course. I mean, you know, you're the hottest thing out. Hey. And you got a project in the streets. Yes. 18th Dynasty, cop that. It's everywhere, online, Google Play, iTunes. Amazon, iTunes. I bought it. Um, Spotify, it's everywhere. Google it, 18th Boom. Dynasty. Boom. Are we on title yet? We're not on title yet. They haven't let you buy in yet. <laughs> okay, all right, cool. I understand. It's sometimes, you know, Jay-Z be like that. Right. He's slow to the get back. But, you know what I'm saying, your name is on the list. Yeah, you everywhere know? else. Everywhere else. But title. <laughs> you can Shazam it too. Oh, for real? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. If you don't know who she is, Shazam it. There I don't it know is. if that works like that though. But. So, my my first question officially mm -hmm. is, what inspired you to create this project? Um, what inspired me to create this project was really just to introduce myself as an artist to the world. So that was really the theme of 18 Times. Mm. Definitely. So where did the turn? All right. So how does? The 18th Dynasty fit in with you introducing yourself. Are you the embodiment of the 18th Dynasty, or is this like a representation? Um, it's of a no? metaphor. Oh, okay. okay. Um, Break it down. Break it down to math. Because Queen Nefertiti reigned in the 18th Dynasty. Really? Um, and when she reigned, she like introduced people to a different way of thinking, living, being, like a whole new culture. Word. So, and they followed her that way. Word, word. So I kind of apply that to my music. Like I'm going to introduce y'all gotcha. to some new shit. Gotcha. Excuse me. Some no, new music. New music. Um, you know what I mean? That's dope. That's a little different than what you typically hear from a female MC. Gotcha. Um, and the kings and queens, they follow them. Definitely. So, okay, okay. When... You decided to take on this this moniker, or you decided to evolve yourself into this into the being that you are you become now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know we're gonna talk about your lyricism in just a second, but mm -hmm. I feel like the way you package yourself and the way you put this everything together is just so unique. Mm -hmm. It's so different. It stands out. Mm -hmm. Like what made you you know what made you gravitate you know to to the to what you're doing now as far as becoming Nefertiti, the doing the all of the artwork, the art design, what brought that I into mean, play? It just feels organic to me. Mm -hmm. Like literally, I mean that's just the vision. Work. And um I never really had a problem just doing what feels right. Gosh. And following that. So I just had this vision and I just ran with it and we here. Cool. Yeah. Have have you have you been getting a lot of positive responses even in this Definitely. track world that we seem to be stuck in sometimes? Definitely. Um it's all love. I mm -hmm. mean, you know, people look at me and then it's like, Oh, what's she about to do? <laughs> but, you know, once it happens it's like, Oh, you know, it's all love, it's all respect. Mm -hmm. Um you know, it's kind of harder to penetrate when when the when the trap music and the trap theme is like so popular right now. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, it's it's all love, cool. definitely, cool. and it's something different. So people are always like, all right, let me you know check you out, and then they they rock with you. Cool. All mm -hmm. right. All right. Now, getting into the recording process and, mm -hmm. and getting into these records. Number one, I want to know, and I never got a chance to ask you, what's your favorite record off of the project? Um. I'm gonna have to say between Own It and Dreamer. Okay. Yeah. And the reason why? Um, Own It is like my Monica. That's I live I live my life with that whole um, mindset. Like whatever you do, you better kill it. Gotcha. <laughs> if I this agree. is your chance, right. you get out there, you own it, you do it. Um, and I you know, so many people that I know in my circle and people I come across that, you know, in one way or another don't feel comfortable being who they are. Gotcha. So I'm just like, look, whatever it is, just be cool with it. Just own it. And then that's how that whole thing came about. So I, li I live my life off of that. Gotcha. And Dreamer, I mean, that just inspires me. Really, like, you put that record on and you wake up and you ready to go get it. Gotcha. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Okay. So when you were in the studio recording this project, I guess, what's the best way to say this? Or the best way to ask the question? How did you... How did you want to impact the world? Like, what were your major thoughts when you were writing the records and recording the records? Was were, was it, you know, I want to speak a message? Was it, uh, you know, I want to e e affect people emotionally? Was it like, man, I just got to get something off my chest? Like, you know, what was your thought process in the recording of the project? Um, my thought process was really um, not, not really getting anything off of my chest. Um, but kind of just being myself, like literally that, 
you know, and I want to give the message too that you can be yourself and you can be dope. And a lot of my music embodies that. Um, so that's all I thought about. Like to me, it's organic. I don't want to think too much about it. I just want to go in the studio and make some music. Okay, so you're a vibe yeah. out person. Oh yeah. All right. So what what are the elements that you need in a studio when you do when you record? Like me, when I do everything, I'm just chicken wings. And Hennessy. <laughs> that's that's the that's the basic. So what what are, what are you, the um, things that the Nefertiti from C need? For me, good energy, good people, um, a producer who is not just a producer, but who's like actively involved um, in the production of of the sound. Um, it's a lot of people who just do it to say that they produce, but you can tell when you're in the studio with a producer who's passionate about what they do. That's important for me. Um, and a J or two, and maybe a drink. <laughs> gotcha. And and what is the uh, the queen's preference on 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 beverages? Um, I'm I'm a real um, I like the Di Serono. Ooh, oh, she educated. Um, I like Syrah. That's my drink too. So yeah, just a little, you know, something. The queen can turn up. Just I haven't seen. I'm, I'm grown. I, I, I can have a drink, right? She over twenty one. <laughs> That's important. I look young, but I'm, but I'm <laughs> definitely old enough to drink. 22 and a half. You know what I'm yeah, saying? 23.5. That works. <laughs> that works. All right. So, how long has the project been out? Project was dropped on May 30th. Boom. Yeah. Okay. So, let's see. What are we planning to accomplish for the rest of 2015? Like, how much? How many? How, how much are we trying to do? Are we trying to pack some stadiums? Are you trying to oh, get yeah. out of the city? Like, yeah, what's we, your major goals? We doing a lot of traveling this summer. We gonna be in New York. We gonna be in New Jersey. We gonna be in Atlanta. Um, we gonna be in Philly. Um, really, just getting out there. We shooting a video um, within the next month. It's gonna be crazy. We shooting to um, one of a kind, which is my new single. It's going to be a motion picture, so it's definitely going to be wild and crazy. Um, and we bring some elements, some visual art elements to the stage performance. It's really going to be crazy, so I'm really excited for, for everything. I'm lobbying for new yes. body paint. Yes. So that will be it. So, and tell everybody where they can get the music. Uh, of course, iTunes and Google Play, but yes. is there a website and social media? Absolutely. They can go to 18thDynastyMusic.com. 18thDynastyMusic.com. You can download it everywhere from there. Um, and yeah, man, all the way live. We're going all the way live. Check me out online. NeffyRaps.com is my official website. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at NeffyRaps. Got you. Yes. Let me, do you have a Facebook page that they can find? Yeah, yeah. Neffy Raps. Everything Neffy Raps. Boom. Google Neffy Raps. <laughs> and she she will talk to the fans. Absolutely. She interacts with me Reach from out. time to time. As long as I'm not saying horrendous, you know, stuff I say. I'm, I'll be wild a little yeah, bit. Yeah. <laughs> you never know, man. Yeah, but <laughs> Is there anything else you want to tell the people before we get out of here? Hey, man. Also, my clothing line, Epic Influx, is launching. It's crazy. Um, so y'all stay tuned. Follow me on my social media for some new designs, some dope material that we got coming out. Influx of everything dope. Epic influx. Let's go. Let's go. Shoot, you always get the exclusives right here. Undergroundradar.com. This is your boy JS Wanna Supply. Follow me yes, at yes. JS Wanna Supply on all social media platforms. Oh, you ain't gotta follow me at that. No, I really don't care. I'm half drunk. So we're gonna check y'all next time, man. Undergroundradar.com. Understand the movement, understand the game. We up out of here. Peace. Peace. So, that's it. Maybe you should dream too. Loosen up for me.